mo ka se bulo van bi da o se police ni boy bi o mo ko bo ni tu no da de mo bi police men o i swear o mo nyina e personal ono ani de po meet for ni ko bo ni tu o da ade de po no trust nobody i swear minimo bi o bo police mu soja mu immigration mu o ya nanta the the van the bullion van at ade de po the game town one was in motion the report from eyewitnesses was the people who carried out the robbery were on a motorbike moving so for you to be able to take a headshot shoot at someone and hit him in the head it were people with experience and proper training Abusia for one Ghana TV and a movie and will be a aquaba. In your name, Bullion Van Attacker, a course where a brantia and infony a dasu and a picture dasu, you kuni ya 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 ma for frozen so a shri won't Ghana Police Service, a dear chili, a chichi, or ma, or mom robbers, no moody, and I'm ransom ya. Nanso Senna, Ghana Police Service, or ma, who for our or more police for a can home. Any almost say or much, Nipamino. Na another four suspects so so can hoa and also so omudi e chiri. Na audio bi eh na mfra me mwa and also so e chiri muka kra. Ah, che se uti mi se ni WhatsApp platform eh police for WhatsApp platform. Sign out uti mi se uti e audio ni mwa eh e chiri. Ah, e chiri mu kwa ya e fast wap. Police for ni bi ye e widi fuwa omuti Ghana Police Service mwa omudi nyam bransem. Ni ebe ko akuti e audio no aba ya ba. Ebeti Ghana Police Service for our press release in Chile Mua, almost so at the bay. If you are near T, a four fronts or so, or more drink, ah, Ghana Police Service recruitment. See here for police for na police for no boo or cry, yes, you are an anta and antanso, so young man, co police. And so, so you have found a car home. Nina, I walk with tea, a moon to the moon. On our boss, I'm George, and also so watch him power, watch her say. A bear one was say, police near or two billion van will be beating me at two two. Ama niti mi yako kani tisa because uh, onye espeta anka wu niti min tutu ana am roba krono onye espeta anka wu niti min tutu e niti min kobo ni paniti abro oti kem e chese ni pano o ye world train no doubt se police ni account because omu ye train ni omu emu omu ti mi e tutu e no ye koko ako ti e no swaba ni yanko ni yanko ti odyo ni umbra ye ba ye betu asu ah ah boys na mwati asama aba hmm Gaga, a summer body, Charlie, and Yasam Kitwao. Moka, I say, Bulo Van Bida or say, Police Ni Boy be Uncle Boni, you know. Charlie, that them all be policemen, oh, them all be personnel. I swear, Omina personnel, or no one need a permit for a little boni to order at the Dimpo. No, that's your Munina, that's your more fifty Monday, no, that's your Munina, boy, near you. Trust nobody, I swear. But my bomb pie say, I'm going to follow your trainee. I'm going to put trainees. 58594. I'm going to say, 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 somewhere last year, we be say, guy be constable, be going to say, good deal, be. I'm going to say, 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 Almost squad in the choir, Robin. Ya, ya, power moon, ya, two moon. Boy, near you. Boy, no cry, a co western to go and a minna. Oh, you know, I find a Pablo or National Swat. National Swat from the DC Edgeman. Oh, how much in Nippa Bay eight, yeah, including Amorano. Say, according to you know, I didn't say a Robin case BC. My name is East Lego, how baby, you belong to me and you want to succeed. Yeah, in the end, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to Eh, that boy na, eh, Adam from na Pablo, the national sport ni na. Beka beka beka, so nde onye efi, nde. Onde nde beche striking force, ye chilo, ora mo touch it, touch it na, be two days. Onye ye mle. Et tamu ne ko police hospital, an sana. Obi ne nu mutonse. Omo iye, jumano boy ni huna no boni dise ah, Pablo, adena oyesa. 
so mo mate ba me say that a credit for that 5859 for the amazon go wo mo ni pa ba kwa ne sa ko ye good deal bi a wo mo e chi no ye jeli no no that squad na bi a tale enye izu me bom pa pa say me dese ko for the training ni bi a nya de en kan ye hu hu kwa ba ye sa ni mo ye nye hmm ba ni nya me bom pa e se unu bi ya di bi na se nya unu ya no ati an le tale hu be bi o fi o Oh, the no. Ah, Pablo, me no pictures, baby, baby. But I'm first time in the group. No, a group room. They say, say, you million, Papa. Me no pictures, baby, baby. I no one no mutum. No confess, masa. And yeah, is you. Hmm. They say they all no no. Hi. This is for audio. No, any apa kuti no abano. Ah, what you say? Juma, eh, koso no. And yeah, but yeah, we can say Juma be no. And if I want to go home, I don't want to go home. No, I want to go home because I want to go home. Now, I'm going to go to Ghana Police Service for press release. I'm going to buy. I'm going to go home. 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 Yeah, I'm robbery. I'm call call her. Call. I'm get to her. No, I'm call her. No, I'm call her. No. Eh, my yes, I'm call she. I'm no. It was too too. Eh, by ah, police for no to. Na, I'm I'm so so I'm robbery. So so I to. It was too too. No more. Eh, no, I'm not cheating. I'm not being. Ah, I'm not being. No, I'm not police for. But I call Eddie Constable Redolf Jima Ansa. Ah, but I call so so Eddie Corporal Stephen Kweku Nyame. Sa and Kofu me and we, eh, yet she almost also say two calm, ah, a domo bar, a police hospital, no, or Mohere or Monqua. Nagana police service, SRHS, a suspect, five suspects be a massachi or more, a move for, a ya a police for, and as a more police for, and also so Omgusu or Moody Hojuma, a do or more, a quaco dinner, as in Dibia, near the Omasa, when you have said the Bea, a dom be famra quanso, and on a Ghana police for a release ye. Any audio ya ya kwa kuti. Na sanse mi ya openye ya ya freno kwe ku na sari. Wakasa a woche se recruitment ya yoko suwa gana police service munu. Eno na enye fise. Nkofubu wa wamo nse mfatase ya befa wamo. So because of protocol. Because of protocol nti ni ya fa wamo. No wama ba no wama be dinsi. Nwa aha police ya jume kuonu. Nti ese wamo ya careful. Especially politicians no. A wamo ya di protocol no. Wamo ese wamo ya careful. Yanko ni nkuti ya ni mraye ba ya betu asu. So nya ye party nya unye nya protocol ani e pian edwashi o wo body kakra no na edo me e ye body mpo e bi o hompo kra na e physical e na ye hwen mpo kra na ye hwen mhm mini mo bi o wo police mo bi o wo soja mu aye ka height na eh kan ye de fan crofo na ondu enso ya fa no oni na mu oni na mu mini mo bi o wo police mu soja mu immigration mu wo ya nanta and so can you know, me tell me, I make a me case, I am the same, yeah, woo me at the me or barracks. Copy me time, I'm the union, yeah, the papa call retirement. And since I know my crack a crano, minim. Alantani, dear, my who be my who posts in Ibia Lantani, and I must have said, say, be alike. Massa, we are Nantani, and you're kind of saying, you're kind of saying, a human in a beer or cooperation in a two cock can. Ah, and only a different, a different. But Obi or Honma, Mehuna, training Lucre Muno, flat foot, near and foul. If say asu she boots, I want to mean jina ko enche. Say say yasa sani jina enam. Obia na mubi enam protocol allocation na yade man. Mean kasa mi ema. I was say eti forty masi ye. Then so no yema your friend is saying. Eh eh. Kwaina wasa ye fasu no. Enye ejuma. The right time no no. That is it. Me kai se mi bi eche mu me contesti elections. Then wo efija ko abre no. Me ko ye no. I'm young boy so mbe gu me so so mo pay. Your friends and security services. Masa me kame no credit chere wamo. Said the best I can do for you, and he say, ko ko koto forms no. Feeling say me was ya feeling wo computer no so. Say computer no accepti wa. That is where me me bum. Me huni say uhiya the political backing. Yes. Me bum. 
enti no koye na se wonya ne saa ye photocopy fabre me na me nim se sa enyoma na ye hwehwe ni nyina no wakotru na se bi e bia wo certificate enye ade no so e dia ba beto wo se ye pepa sese se na se me do wo fan chen akwa me to mra wa bra wa feeli me nti ase ye eno no okay e wo sia fo ye to aso a sa asem kro na mu no ona bo sam george wakasa a ono so e eh, chese e eh, beye wanwa because wadi kenya ka pense ni pa o tu tu bo sa a polisi ni waye expert ya nchila ni tu tu a wun timi tu tu a bra bulion van e eh, kosa a timi ya tu tu a geji polisi ni a man eh, driver ne omo a oho nina so so omo a kan so so e eh, shiro omo hon kwa e eh, eh, beye wanwa inti ono de e nye wanwa na ono de oble mu bo fe ndi si ni mpp uh, recruitment protocol a e eh, koso ono e no me bie e eh, koso e eh, mfata e eh, wo police service any police service on kwa mu enwuma ko nyina mu sa protocol protocol bo on sen fatan so ne ya fa no ne ya ma na kwot na ho na na adwena ne sika 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 oni sacrifice bia ma o man no ne nyina ka ho one mpp penny ba ko so so e ka sa yenko yenko ti eh omo anonse mo mra ye ba e beto aso rani this is and there was like audio circulating okay. and so there are people who say I mean, although um, it could be just coincidental, there are mm -hmm. people who say that maybe the audio may have pushed the police to come up with this statement earlier. Okay. Because maybe the police would have loved to have waited and uh, nabbed everybody before they made a statement. But there's an audio ahead where somebody who is supposed to be part of the police investigation uh, was speaking to somebody and identifying those two people. Oh. And speaking about units that they belong to. Okay. And, and, and some previous criminal activities that people from that unit have been Haven't involved been. in and all they are. All right. R R Randy, you see, I, I have, I think I've, I've said this too many times. And in the lead up to the 2020 election, I made those comments on this platform. And some people thought that it was just mere politicking. When I said that a future NDC government would have to pay particular attention to cleaning up the mess that is in our security services. Not just the police. From immigration, through fire, through prisons, to the military itself. Massive rot. Rot in the recruitment processes that have gone on. Because Randy, you have, and, and I keep saying this because I, I'm no expert in security, but I, I, I know firsthand the professionalism of the men and women of our security services, those who were properly recruited. But Randy, over the years, politically, we have messed up recruitment into the security services. I'm not going to take the NDC away from it. But if you are talking of two evils, the NDC is a lesser evil. Because you remember, under the NDC, even if you didn't have mass and English, they won't recruit you, even if it was a minister who was bringing you. And our people kept asking us that to go and shoot gun to, would I write English, would I write comprehension, a, 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 a story, a comprehension essay before I shoot a bullet? Or do I need to calculate the velocity at which the bullet will move before I fire? Because we insisted that even if you were going to go in through protocol, the basic requirements you needed to meet, you needed to spend the right number of months in, 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 in police Training. You needed to go through the requisite security background check. And today, there are people who are police college who can't even spell their names. Uh -huh. Yes. There are people who can't spell their names, can't write a proper sentence. Look, Randy, you only need to have a problem and go to police station and go and talk to any of the police, the fresh recruits. Many of them cannot, they cannot string three sentences in English together. They end up speaking three to you or, or speaking in vernacular. At the police station. We have destroyed the image of the police service, especially the police service. And that's why I maintain my call that the next NDC administration under President Mahama, whoever will be Minister for Interior, has the and Minister for Defense, has the other task of cleaning up our security services. A proper audit of recruitment that have been done. Because Randy, we've seen too many instances. We've seen soldiers who are assigned to the office of the president engaged in armed robbery. Soldiers 
officially assigned to the office of the president, national security operatives, being arrested for armed robbery. I mean, where have we got into? If men and women who are supposed to wear the uniform with the insignia and protect the populace are the ones engaged in this kind of activity, that didn't go in, in, incident. Randy, that day when that incident happened, I sat on this show and I said, look, it takes a professional to be able to have carried out that hit. Because Randy, the, the van, the bullion van at Adedenko, the Jamestown one, was in motion. The report from eyewitnesses was the people who carried out the robbery were on a motorbike moving. So for you to be able to take a headshot, shoot at someone and hit him in the head, not the body. The head is one of the small things. You need to be properly screwed on as a marksman to hit a, a, a standing target on the head. How much more a, a, a target in a moving vehicle when you are also moving? You need to be properly trained. And I said that at that day, I didn't know who it was, but I said it were people with experience and proper training. If today we are being told that policemen from a specialized unit, I'm sure, because I've heard that audio, are the ones doing this. They are the ones who are giving those kinds of training. What kind of security background checks did we carry out before recruiting these people? You're having people who have actually done time in Insawam. We have evidence of people who have actually been involved in criminal activities. People who have been arrested before by the police. Today, being recruited into the police service. I mean, where, where are we going? Right now, Randy, at night, when I'm driving and there's a police checkpoint and you're even getting there, at times you are scared to stop. Because you don't know whether it is the police or the police. You don't know which it is. You know, and it is just, it's just a mess. And this is where I would again recall my, my critique of the IGP. There needs to be proper, proper look at what is going on within the police service. It's not about the social media clicks and tweets and, and hype. It's about cleaning up the police service. Because we have massive rot in there. And for me, the next NDC administration, the next NDC administration, and I'm sending notice here today. Mm -hmm. If the next NDC administration comes and there is no proper cleanup of our security services, I will take the president, President Mahama, and whoever is minister for interior and defense onto task because they owe it to the Ghanaian people to clean up our security services. If this government won't do it, we owe it as a responsibility mm -hmm. to the Ghanaian people to restore the dignity, especially of the Ghanaian police service, mm -hmm. service with integrity. Today we are not seeing service, we are not seeing integrity. Mm. What do you say to those who say that even in the days that we were speaking about uh, recruitment being above board, you still had reports of um, policemen being involved in some of these things? Yeah, Randy, mm. you can never have a 100% perfect situation. Mm. I mean, background checks can even clear an individual, but people get influenced along the line. Mm. So at the time the person was getting recruited, there's a possibility that he's, he will go through clean, get a clean bill of uh, 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 re record by intelligence investigation, mm -hmm. but subsequent to his recruitment, he will get influenced either under pressure. There are people who are pressured into doing things by criminal gangs or whatever influences. Agreed. But Randy, it is about the rampancy. I'm okay. saying that over the last five years, Take the, take the checks. There's been no year where we've not seen either a national security operative properly identified mm. an, an office of the president security operative or a policeman either engaged in an armed robbery, engaged in a kidnapping, or as we have been told, engaged in bullion van robbery. Randy, we've not seen this before. Yes, you will get the one or two policemen going to do their, their galamse. They do what they call moonlighting. You know where they take on private security works for individuals or uh, 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 they try to settle personal scores for people that you would always see and those that's why you have pips when when you find them falling short of that you take them to pips to deal with them for professional breaches but money armed robbery and if you look at the the the, the, the frequency before the added info, you see after added info, when the police said they were no longer going to put they are, they are men on, on the road in bullion vans, except the bullion van is armored. That, and then the military, again, Ghana, failure. When the police said, we won't do it, what did you see? The military jumped in and said, oh, we'll do the escort. And now you saw bullion vans that were not bullion vans. 
you saw pickups acting as bullion vans that were not armored and you had military people driving behind them i mean what kind of right now our, our military the esteemed ghana armed forces have become escorts for 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 private bullion van companies you know it makes no sense but they're, they're not kaneshi one because montran that company was using an armored vehicle you saw that when they fired at it, it didn't happen but february 2021 march 2021 june 2021 clearly a syndicate that had worked out a modus operandi executed it once it had worked and continued executing it you get it this is this is not this is not just the one-off criminal-minded police officer who goes to misbehave or some police officer who somebody goes to take his girlfriend and he gets angry takes his service weapon and goes to shoot him no no no, no, no. Not, not those ones this we're talking about a syndicate that is engaged in either robbing or, or kidnapping or bullion van robbery Honey, nobody should compare this to what we've seen in the past these are uncharted territories and we as a country must be worried about it mm. Randy, yes. Uh, my brother keeps saying the next NDC government yes. under, under JDM, mm -hmm. His Excellency. It seems to me that he's quite confident that they are going to win the next election. It's obvious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you are not in the spirit. His well, confidence is obvious. Well, his confidence is mm -hmm. very, very obvious. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm happy that he has served notice to us that. Uh, Essentially, John Daman and Mahama is going to be their next uh, flag bearer, even before their primaries. Maybe that's his wish, uh, but he keeps saying that the next NDC government under JDM. Well, thank you for the notice. You've taken judicial notice of it <laughs> as, a, as a party. Um, let me also commend the police, Randy. Mm. If not for anything at all, this current IGP, um, uh, with regards information sharing, uh, is doing quite well and every now and then we get uh, communication from the police uh, informing us of issues uh, that is ongoing uh, this is a very very serious issue randy if you have uh, people within the security services the police themselves and their duty is to protect us if they are joining hands with the armed robbers to perpetrate this kind of uh, atrocities mm -hmm. then that is a worry and i told my brother should have limited his conversation around this particular area but of course he veered he began by condemning both political parties but went on to say that uh, what is happening under our government is something unprecedented randy issues about recruitment both political parties and he did say we should be ashamed of ourselves we should be ashamed of ourselves this same english mass thing that he's talking about this current administration Check all the publications that the, the police have, been, have brought out in terms of when it, it's time for recruitment. English and math is still a prerequisite. The, the first three years, there were no publications. We were told that they were entering some database well, right that up. only they were privy to. Okay, the point and, I made. And, <laughs> and, and inviting people from that so called database. database. Randy, the point I am making is that the English and math. The most thing I've heard about recruitment into well, security services. The, well, I'm, I'm responding to For his the English, short period that I've been in this world. I'm, <laughs> I'm responding to his English and mass thing. And mm. I'm saying that it is still a prerequisite. It's still there. It yeah. has not changed. Mm. From previous government to this government, it has not changed. You'll be surprised. You mean after the database? Oh, the database are you referring to? Randy? Ah, you're not aware. I'm not aware of any database. Oh, 2017, 2018, I'm not aware of any database. What really? I'm saying is that. He's playing the hospital. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> the point I'm making is that the English and mass thing. Can you do me a favor? I beg you. Randy. A small favor. Okay. I want you on, I want you on my behalf <laughs> yes. to uh, pose an urgent question to the Minister of Interior. Okay. Asking about the mode of um, uh, enlistment into the security services 2017, 2018, 2019. Okay. I'll do, do, oh, I'll do that. I'll do okay. that. I'll do that. I'll do that. I can't easily, easily file a question on that. Even my brother can do In that. Fact, before you leave here, before you leave here, I'll produce the statement issued right. to explain that to you. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I've heard of it, but seriously, to be very frank with you, I've not gone into uh, the whole issue. Yeah, That's true. why I, I, I left it. It's true. true. But the point I want to and make to my brother... And the previous parliament looked on for that to happen. And the point I want to make to my brother mm. is that this same standard, the English and mass thing, is still existing. The problem is the politicization and the way uh, the pressure we get as politicians from our constituents. 
you know and that is where i think we should focus our attention to so the last time how many have both of you put in the police uh, this year police? How, many, uh, how many people oh randy i have not put anybody in the police uh, no, no no i have not put anybody in the police customs i have not put anybody there. i have not put anybody Fire there service. i've had constituents come to me okay. with uh, forms after they bought their uh what do you call it one guy came to me and he was disqualified and he said, oh, I want you to intervene. I want to intervene. I said, no, you are disqualified. I cannot help you in this So you didn't That's get a quota? I didn't. I cannot, put you, I cannot take you, a disqualified candidate, into the police. I can't. Okay. I can't. And I remember Dr. Kumbo made a very interesting point. Yeah. And when he talked about recruitment, even into the health service, mm -hmm. and that when he was a health minister or defense minister, his constituents were bombarding. The training schools. Yeah, training schools. And he said very, something very interesting. The day you are traveling on the Tamale, highway and you are involved in an accident and the person to take care of you is the one who got a d mm. or an f mm. in size that you help recruit into the health service mm. it is at that particular point that you get to know why these things are not so for us for both political parties and for we should find a way. And I, I i support the call by my brother for a cleanup in the security services i don't want to apportion blames it's been something that is ongoing both political parties fall short of it mm. we should find a way of helping and I'm, I'm happy with the IGP's current uh, situation where he pinpoints even within his own uh, people when something of that sort happens just as it's, it's happening now we, we don't know the name but of course I've also listened to the audio that you are talking about I've heard it that uh, I'm aware that already they have been they've been arrested and uh, investigations are still ongoing we pray Randy we pray that this thing do not continue the last time we were here we talked about the sporadic shooting at the uh, the palace in the northern region yes. the police i mean i don't know why at the least provocation the current generation of police people just pick up a gun yeah. and start shooting you go into a palace and you start shooting you know we should find a way of cleaning up the system and i support my brother's call about cleaning up this is a way of doing it and you don't shield people your own don't shield your own i'm sure if the police had not come out with this we wouldn't know that people within the same police and you are talking a very very interesting department within the police very specialized unit involved in this kind of uh, 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 robberies i mean daylight robbery and my brother said february march june there's a trend it's a trend and if you look at even the report that you are getting because these are professionals mm -hmm. they know what what they are doing and the kind of thing that they do i heard the interior minister come to parliament when he was uh, when he met the public accounts committee talking about cameras um, body, comes. body comes i mean it's something that randy should take very very keen interest in you can imagine if all these cameras were were working i mean whatever happened at that particular moment would have been captured and it will help in this investigation mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm with the call for a cleanup uh, in the security service and right. i'm appealing to them i'm appealing to the security service we trust them we we trust our lives to them if they are joining the robbery and robbers to do this to us that, that is a word right. randy just a big one you see, on, on, the, on the issue of body cams, I mean, it's a fantastic thing. I mean, the interior minister spoke about body cams almost two, three years ago. Hasn't happened. Just like Dr. Baumia also spoke about CCTV cameras for all our police stations. You remember, after the Kwabenya police incident, it's been six years, no police station has gotten a CCTV camera. But Randy, you know, morale in the security services are dropping. And I'm getting messages from people in the service. They are, they are worried. And they keep telling you when they meet you. They say, look. Randy, you have a warrant officer, and you know, in the, in, for example, in the military, a warrant officer is, he, he is, because even commissioned officers go through the hands of a W, because he trains them in the, in the academy, and you have recruits, lance corporals, and recruits who are brought into the military, because they are political party vigilantes, who've been recruited by a political bigwig. They get into the military, they get into the police, general constables, and they talk to a chief inspector without regard. A chief inspector gives an instruction to officers under him, and they disregard it. Simply because, and so it's leading to a breakdown in discipline, even within the ranks of the military and the police service. Mm -hmm. Because you've got these political vigilantes who do not owe an allegiance to the crest and the, and the insignia of their units. They owe allegiance to a politician sitting either in the Jubilee House or in Parliament or in some ministry somewhere. And so for them, they believe that what they do must be the say yes or say no of that politician. 
and not of the coat of arms and the insignia that they carry. And so you realize that right now, I mean, a senior military uh, uh, warrant officer, he said to me, Sam, look, I, I went through training for 18 months before I got commissioned or before I, I, I got, I, I passed it out. out. He says, let's they bring these boys in six weeks, nine weeks. They say we should clear them. In three months, they say we should clear them. Sam, what have they learned? So even the proper drill, that's why you're talking about young recruits going into a palace and opening fire live ammunition in a palace is because they are training they need to go through Randy, instead of them to take their time they are <laughs> being passed that? out quickly you know that, yeah. last night there was a shooting in Dakwema yes. the Dakwema youth yeah, chief yes. 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 and I watched the video yeah. someone has a video Randy, if you listen to the weapons being fired mm. automatic weapons you could hear an M16 you could hear a G3 being fired in there in Tamale mm. broad daylight but street c- civilians have those things yeah. now they are not supposed to yes. have them but they have them now oh you, know, you know a friend of mine you know after Independence Day celebration one of the videos that went viral was that of the gymnast the gymnast ah. the, 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 the one, one who but us nearly became kebabs <laughs> a friend of mine said oh be sure that this is a, a <laughs> party 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 it was your four and I was on George in a opinion back or MPP move and a wakasa and wakasano. Now, a media maker said, You may be a womb be any paboni for womb. A young and a police service in Kwa, baby, a yuma a woman, a mu and a war town for a yuma a woman, a mu and a war town for a platform with fear for a yuma a woman, a mu and a war town for Tina, your addition idea, a ma will be a war a yuma more, no, I care for. Because we beat me at at Jonqua at any time. Hi, one Ghana TV. Message say, uh, "Obe subscribe and like to the channel." Me can for tap tap send. I'm obe so send this ika. If you are man on the back Ghana, easy download the app no. Phone be so Android and iOS. And I say app store. Obe nya tap tap send. Now download it now install it. We use our promo code. But one Ghana ship. But one Ghana ship. Na uh, install it. Oh yeah, ever more initial deposit of five pounds, five euros. Oh, UK and other European com- countries. Oh, Canada and our US and so so ever more ten dollars free. Now the assassin here at Juma. Now, Mr. Kanfo, I scan for gentleman capsules. I'm aware of them and I'm a so boy, my one password. Ninety minutes. My who are you an inji for a sicker for gentleman capsules? A man also so open say, or he fear come a come a come a be man be raw, ten be an and neighbor jia, no offer a sicker for and TC capsules. A bell wow power fit you chrome, a hobby be a hobby clean, a sicker for and TC capsules. And on a mechan for my own man on in our per se. Utopia, message say, Ubako Amazon.co.uk, Amazon.co.uk. Now, I could to be fair, fair, and now say, Fanamana, a desk in this room, not afraid. A bed, the best, and they will come, 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 come. I want Ghana TV, there will be asses with you. I come.